same time, the Q rating is extremely high in Kits Fuel. That's because five qualifiers are into the quarterfinals of a tour level event. For the first time in history, Jan Mike Laszlo Gera took out last year's runner up, Ramos Vignolas. He took out Yannick Sinner. And now he's taking out the two seed in Diego Schwartzman. Well, absolutely. But you, you look at Gera, he's. A very, very good clay court player. He won a 500 last year, beat, it, beat Felix Oje Aliassim in that final. That's not an easy guy to beat. And Jera, so comfortable on the clay. This win against Schwartzman is, isn't the biggest surprise for me because of that movement, because how comfortable he is out there. And he knows how to win big matches. So this is a good win for him against Schwartzman. I was a little surprised to see him have to come through the qualities, but that's telling you how many people are trying to play all these events. Everybody wants to get in there and play some tennis. Absolutely. So one qualifier into the semifinals. How about Mark Andrea Huesler? Won his first ATP Tour match in two years this week. Beat the top seed Fabio Fonini and keeps it going against Feliciano Lopez. Well, Feli Lopez out there got a little taste of his own medicine today. Huesler coming to the net relentlessly against him, really attacking actually the forehand corner, which I think is the good play against Lopez. Get into the forehand corner because Lopez always looking to dictate from the middle. Huesler was up to the task on the pass side of things and really attacking constantly coming in. It's a guy we hadn't heard of, ranked outside the top 300. Pretty good feel on that lock. I think we may see a little bit more good tennis from Houston coming forward. He has all the tools, big serve, some good ground strokes, got some good range with his long arms, and can hit the spots. Look at that to finish that one off. Great pass on that one. Big win for him. And he is into his first ever semifinal, so that's two qualifiers. Plus, how about Yannick Humphman into his first semifinal in three years. So three qualifiers into the semis for the first time in ATP Tour history. Yeah, what's amazing is that stat, that that's the first time that three qualifiers have ever made the semifinals of an ATP event. I was surprised to see that. Steve, I got what you did there with the Q rating. Yeah, that's because we talked about it earlier. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, okay, so it, that's what we're seeing in Kitzbühel, right? No, no one's sure the top players and if they're ready to go necessarily. True. We saw it with Fabio. He had double ankle surgery, wasn't quite ready to go. And these other players taking advantage right now of a good time for them to get ranking points. It's, it's a huge opportunity for, for these players to kind of come in and have some big wins, get some confidence, and then maybe, you know, run with it a little yeah. bit. No seeds left in Istanbul or Kitzbühel. It's crazy. It's a whole new world. <laughs>